So what are some of the other new arrivals? <laughs> oh, not there you good. go. How about the 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible? Mm-hmm. They didn't make those turbocharged, did they? For some reason. I wonder because it was a liability thing probably, think, for yeah, the convertible. Probably be super expensive, too. A- active red over charcoal anthracite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what yeah. is that? It's, okay, so anthracite is a type of it's stone. Coal. It's coal. It's coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's Wilkesbury, man. It's Scranton. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, frack. That's the that's the Ernie Mead story. Yeah. Come on, man. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Delaware oh, diner. Nice. Oh, well, that's, that's a tell. <laughs> you really need to have him on and tell that. I story. think we're gonna have to that's have Ernie idea. on. Ernie's got a story that's. Uh, yeah. An interesting a precursor to precursor the country situation. Yeah, to the situation, <laughs> that, and it happened in the fifties in a diner in Delaware. Mm-hmm. So if you do the math of fifties and diner somewhere and maybe some drag racing, somewhere close to the Wilmington, uh, what is the what do they call the uh, the um, Oh, the the area of a radio station that that you broadcast to the, 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 RO, the there's a word for it. The it's dem- not, not range. It's the, the, uh, the uh, well, goo. I only did this market. for forty years. <laughs> the market. <Come> on. <laughs> yeah, well, the, yeah, the market of yeah. uh, the uh, there is a, a the term. AD uh, area of dominant influence yeah, or the yeah. metro ADI or ADA yeah, or the something med- like. Anyway, a- anyway, <laughs> anyway, three times radio terms. <laughs> yes, one hundred and one. Yes. This is a very original. This three hundred ZX three point zero liter double over overhead cam v6 five speed manual tranny like the three pedals are so nice That's right. uh top down fun it is <laughs> that's i love that top down fun oh yes yes um what a great looking car though it's um very clean one of the first year of the convertibles for the 300 series it's got eighteen thousand miles on it we're not sure if those are actual it appears to be mm-hmm. but a lot of cases these older cars and it happens watch this Guys, when you get your car titled, don't let them put exempt on a low mileage car. And they will. If it's over 10 years old, mm. a lot of times they'll just say exempt. They don't care about the mileage. It's over 10 years old. And that should change because 10 year old cars used to be, they were falling apart. I mean, literally, they were ready to go right. to the dump. Yeah. And now, 10 uh, year old cars are just getting into their prime. Mm-hmm. I mean, how many cars? I've yeah. got one, two, three, <laughs> or four cars that are over 10 years old. Yeah. And they're still great cars. Of course, they have low, low miles. Right. So, anyway. 2,480 of these convertibles were produced in 1993, and only 496 in this particular shade of red. So uh, check the 93 Nissan 300ZX on our website, Mm -hmm. ClassicAutomall.com. If you have a question for us, podcast at ClassicAutomall.com. You can also sign up for our newsletter on our website as well, too. So Mm -hmm. And catch all of our podcasts are on there, as well as uh, all the uh, podcast sites, YouTube, uh, the radio station now. We're everywhere. It is. If you go to the podcast uh, web page on our website, right. you have some information there. It'll tell you a little bit about what yep. we do and what we do. What we don't. What we do and what we don't What do. we do and what we don't. <laughs> uh, other new arrival, 1975 Pontiac Grand Prix hardtop, camel beige over saddle, two-owner car from new. That's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. 67,000 actual miles. Numbers matching 400 cubic inch V8 and numbers matching... Turbo Hydromatic 400 automatic transmission. Very original. This was uh, the fourth generation of the Grand Prix. And the title verified miles. Uh, original owner had it until 2023. <laughs> so just until recently. Yep. So this, our new owner, our new consigner, has just had it for a handful of time. And you just don't find them very often. And especially this body style. Uh, the body style in 75 was kind of unique. Um, 75. Four and seventy-five, I think, and then seventy-six. They changed the body. St- I don't know. I'm getting this wrong. I'm certain. Somebody do some research and tell Tiny me. Randy, show pop, me up podcast. on the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what we did wrong. Podcast.com. They are cool though, and the inter- and they people love them. And we talked about Grand Prix before, where they just there's just a fan base for them, and they're just so unique. They're a performance based luxury car. They're they're the the guy who was uh, done really well in business. Needed something to transport him to the office every day that looked cool. Still had some performance, but had all the amenities that mm-hmm. he was he's so befitting of a of a guy in his stature. <laughs> That's right. Like a Lincoln Mark III. Same kind of deal. Exactly. So, uh, other new arrivals. How about the 1969 Chevrolet C10 short bed pickup truck? Orange and white over black. It's got a correct 396, 325 horse V8. Meaning, correct meaning that it could have... It could have come with that back in the area. This isn't the actual motor. It's a replacement engine in it. Uh, but it's not an LS swap. It's a, it's a true to uh, what it was, would have b- been born with. Same with the Turbo Hydromatic 400 automatic. This thing was expertly restored. 
Ford. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Gosh, this truck is just, mm-hmm. it's over the top. I mean, if you were going to do a truck, this would be the prototype to say, if you want to do a perfect restoration, and and it's I mean it's better than no new mm-hmm. better than no is it better than no and no <laughs> and new and no and uh, and you can haul and show although I don't imagine you want to do a whole lot of hauling in it go and show as I say go and show mm-hmm. and but I tell you it's clean. the amount of effort and and work that went into mm-hmm. this truck is spectacular check it out on the website as well too how about the uh, 1990 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series okay you say just a used car from the 1990s twilight blue metallic and light titanium over light titanium interior. One owner of a garage kept 18,291 actual wow. miles. Yeah. This thing is like a time capsule. Uh, it's got the five liter V8, um, just a well preserved mm. car. And again, title verified. So, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's one of those things that it's easy to claim something, but if you don't have any backup on it, then it's just word. Anyway, when we return, we will just continue discussing our new arrivals and uh, some other interesting factoids that come out of these minds from the Classic Auto Mall podcast. See you in a minute. Stock number 6065 for sale by consignment at Classic Auto Mall is a low mileage supercharged 2011 Dodge SRT8 convertible. It features a potent 392 Hemi with a Procharger P1SC1 supercharger putting out 425 horsepower with a 5-speed automatic transmission. The convertible conversion was done by American Coach Customs in California and the top is power actuated with a glass rear window. It has power Brembo disc brakes on all four corners with independent suspension and Bilstein shocks and struts for great performance. Classic Auto Mall has more than 1,000 cars for sale via consignment in our massive climate-controlled showroom in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Classic Auto Mall, a great place to buy or sell a car through consignment because it's safe, easy, and secure. Plus, we advertise, sell, and ship worldwide. Easily search for your next Classic at ClassicAutoMall.com. Other new inventory. How about the 1997 AM General Hummer H1 Wagoon? Mm. High gloss black mm. over gray. Another low mileage. I must be theming this. 7,417 original miles. 6.5 liter turbo diesel engine. 4 L ADE automatic transmission. Custom ordered and built. Pretty much go anywhere. Yeah, this is a military vehicle, basically. <clears throat> this is the one, when I see this one, Arnold Schwarzenegger was like the first person to ever have <coughs> civilian. Like a, a pedestrian, yeah, mm-hmm. civilian one. And I think his was black. And last but not least on our <coughs> new uh, arrivals, arrivals mm-hmm. uh, 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop. Okay, you've seen a gazillion of these. <coughs> Regal turquoise and India ivory over turquoise and beige. And this is a near flawless restoration. It's about as close to flawless Yeah, it's as beautiful. You the, the gentleman who did these, who is since passed uh and we've sold this is the third or mm. fourth vehicle okay because every one of them has just been exactly the same just perfectly done this is an aaca junior senior preservation award winner it's got the correct 235 cubic inch inline six which is okay i you know i used to i used to think ah inline six blah mm-hmm. you know it's there's nothing wrong with that right there's, there's like that camaro we had the mm-hmm. convertible we talked about last week right inline six yep <clears throat> How cool. It's original, I mean, original. It's original. A lot of people will change that because they've perceived more value in the V8 and stuff. But how I, you know, I start, as the older I get, I guess the more I would argue that mm-hmm. how fast do you really want to go in a exactly. 68 Camaro? Right. And this car, you're not going fast anyway because this is pure show. Pure show. It's not something made to go fast. It's made to go cruise down the mm-hmm. parade route mm-hmm. and uh, wave to all your neighbors and show them how lucky you are that you have a regal. It's a turnkey. We talked about turnkey. Turn this is a turnkey show car. Get in and go. And get in and show. Get it in and show it. <laughs> um, and it's multi-award winning uh i mean there's no such thing as a perfect car but boy this one comes awfully close it does but it does. Uh, congratulations to the to the job that they did on it and uh, thank you for allowing us to uh mm. to, to help you uh liquidate uh, the collection and and it uh, is an honor i tell people this is an honor to represent your car mm-hmm. here and the fact that you're trusting us to do this is is really an honor. It's an it, honor it, it absolutely is and the other thing is is that we're hopefully passing it on to uh, somebody who's going to equally appreciate mm-hmm. it. And there you have your classic car. The classic countdown. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take that button away from him. <laughs> I to get that toy. I don't know. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with the Classic Auto Mall podcast. This has been the Classic Auto Mall show with your host, Stuart Howden.